The water quality report for Pocatello is in, and the results are clear. The report follows more than 1,500 tests last year. Angelina Dixon shows us how this is done and where. According to the Pocatello Water Department, there are 17 different wells in production, producing more than 45 million gallons of water per day. We just got a sample bottle. We take monthly samples of uh, bacteria samples, and we just got the thing. We take a residual to make sure that there's chlorine in the water. And then we take the sample out of this bottle, then we take it down to the lab and have them check it. We do that every biweekly, every two weeks. And it's by law, drinking water regulations require the city to mail the results of this information to customers each year. Basically what I'm supplied is, is basically a report from our, our testing agency. Uh, some of the testing we perform in-house at our, at our city lab that's out at the water pollution control. Armstrong says when the results are in, they look like this. And as you can see, it's carrying good results, but even better results keeping lead off the radar. We actually are on a reduced monitoring schedule for lead because of successive reports uh, that show that we are well below the limits of violation for any lead. In Pocatello, I'm Angelina Dixon. The water department asks that you conserve water by not overwatering your lawn and by watering only during the cooler parts of the day, morning and evening.